them near the mouth, place it over your nose and mouth, secure the headband and tighten the shoulder. Okay, can go, go, go. Ready? Okay, boys, we're having a lot of stuff. Alright, guys, we have made it to the Solomons. Um, we've got some pretty exciting stuff happening. We are taking um, some of our resources uh, to the Guadalcanal province. Uh, we're giving fresh water to a few of the little uh, villages over there. Um, I have been invited uh, to come back again by Lawrence, who's one of the directors of SPA, which is South Pacific Allied Health. So I'm um, pretty keen to film all this this time um, and show you what it's all about. The one thing that locals love is white people in the back of a ute. Further down. All right, so this is Lawrence. What's the guy this afternoon, mate? We're gonna head down to the hardware store and get some supplies and then change yeah, some money over? Some supplies, yep. Yeah. And then um, we're gonna uh, get some meds for the people and we're also um, gonna go tonight down seaside, get some dindins. Yeah, no worries. And then we'll head over to the yeah, well, province. Yeah, head over to boat. East Guadal Canal in the morning, probably get on the boat 4.30, be about a four hour boat ride, then in the truck for about an hour and a half, and then we'll start the project to Sakiki, after that do Naliande. That should take us up to about sort of Thursday-ish, and then we'll start perhaps a meds program for a whole lot of people in the area. And then after the weekend, head up to uh, Pichahila, Leuna, Vatavule Community, Vatavule School, and put all the water projects in there. So six water projects all up. Busy boys, after that a whole more scoping. Sweet. All right, we'll have fun. Brisbane does Denver. Yeah. Yeah, went past Sydney. Alright, so we've just headed down to the local pharmacy uh, where we're getting some Bakwa medication. Uh, so we'll do some little clinics um, to give information out about that and some medication for that. Uh, then we're just going to get some food from the supermarket or little shop um, and a few supplies from the hardware shop and we'll head back to the compound. Solomon Island equivalent to Bunnings. Oh. Alright, we are heading in for dinner. Got all the boys in the back of the 
Are you <laughs> ready to go? Send the Lawrence driver. No, uh, the president there. All right, so we are out for dinner tonight in probably the most flashiest uh, resort uh, in Honiara. Yeah, most expensive as well. Um, the, it's called the Coral Sea Resort. I'm pretty sure you can stay here as well. And it's got a casino if that's mm. what you're into. Yeah. Uh, but we're taking some of the locals out because uh, they They've haven't been, been here before, before they live and <laughs> want to yeah. spoil them a bit for helping us out. So. Mm. We'll have a nice night. Cheers. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Enjoy the meal, brother. Pepper as well. Pepper's yeah. nice. Yeah. All right, so it is day two of our trip. We're just getting all our stuff ready. Uh, we were supposed to head down to the creek at five o'clock this morning, but it's now what? She's at 5.45. 5.45 and they still haven't come and picked us up. So the Solomon Islands has decided to throw something at us on, what, this is day two, but first day of our trip actually up to Sakiki. So big rains up in the mountains, flooded the river, it's full of logs. They don't want to kill us on the first day out, so they decided to try and launch the boat from someplace else. So, we just got to wait around here. We don't really know when they're going to come. We're just, just a waiting game now, so we'll have a bit of breakfast and then we'll cruise off. And Brock looks like he's, looks like he's from Tassie. <laughs> We take the white one? No, this red one. Sorry, Pete. That's all right. My back was bad in the Air Force. All right, so we are at the place where we get in the boat and head round. Uh, we're taking this little canoe. Custom making some seats for you, mate. They are, they are. Even got padding and all. 
The button doesn't do much on anymore, it's a bit, bit light on the padding locally, so I need to get that on the padding on the seat. It's more for the princess out of here, Lorna, that we're worried about. You okay? You okay? Ah, I'm coming, Thank you. Not worry. Thank you. Just uh, say the jackets and uh, everybody see you come for Try not to sit yeah. on your luggage. Yeah, yeah. You might damage some of your... Why are you in the middle, dude? What? Okay, Lawrence. Okay, family, thank you. Okay. Thank you now. See you next year. So we have arrived at uh, the halfway point on our boat journey. Uh, this little island is called Piss Island. Uh, we stop here every time on the way around. Uh, just breaks it up, gives you time to stretch your legs. And then we continue to cruise on for another hour and a half. So the whole journey um, in the boat is about three hours and then it's another hour um, in the back of a vehicle to Sakiki. Copia Bay, ready to hop in the back of a truck okay. and head to Sakiki.
in the back of the truck going from Kopi to Sakiki. It should take about 45 minutes hopefully. Three years. So. Back at Sakiki. Yeah. Yeah. All happening here. Yeah. Need to wake up. <laughs> Rock Franklin, young man, 25, and he lives in Brisbane. And another young man I met uh, a couple of months ago, Caleb Gunn. He's 25. So, ben. Ben. Uh, ben, sorry, <laughs> Caleb Ben. He's um, for Brock. He's a builder. And Caleb is a landscape designer. Okay. And uh, another fellow below me, Peter, he used to work for Ford Motor Company as a design engineer. Yeah. Peter's uh, just a bit younger than me. So. Very young. <laughs> very young, mate. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, like we, we are so happy. Uh, we heard you coming. Yeah, yeah. We hear about you coming. Yeah. And, uh, we are, we are so happy we prepared to, to work with you in you know, our yeah, home, community. Yeah. Is it done? No, it's done. Oh, done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Alright, so we're here at the Sakiki Church uh, that seems to be a full community effort to get it built. Um, there's kids working, adults working, the elders are all working try and get it done so they said they can get it dedicated.
better? Have a wash later in the river? Yeah. Clean up, yeah. Maybe go wash in the sheet. Yeah. Ready, guys? Yep. Um, so we're just going to start with uh... um, the project's been somewhat refurbished by donations from the Honourable. So we've got a slight modification. We're going up to where they've run 63 mil pipe from the source down towards the village. We're going to run our 40 mil pipe from there and then we're going to start running out all the 25 mil and tap points until we got him done so these are all our stand pipes yep they're all our stand pipes we've got a whole lot of pvc over there waiting to be cut up got got a of, couple uh, of bags of yeah, fittings, all the, all the couplings and, fittings yeah. and then the pipe yeah, all the piles mountains are all over, over here So we are heading up to the bottom of where they've run the pipe out so far, just to see how much further we need to go. Um, and where we start all the 25 mil pipe for the village. And it is hot. I'm not used to this heat. It is gonna be a killer the next uh, 10 days um, doing the six installs gonna be wrecked <laughs> okay that's yeah. okay we can just run a short bit of 50 then, yeah. and then run to 40 with reducer yeah. you can uh -huh. reduce uh -huh. all right okay okay <laughs> so the main problem we have um, after we do scopes, sometimes they change what they want to do. Uh, so now what we're going to do is walk out what the new changes are and talk to them about uh, what we can do um, this trip, what we can't do due to the supplies that we have ordered in. Um, and then they can either get some themselves or um, wait for us to come back uh, in a couple of months. Right, you must turn, the, when they finish using mm. the, the tap sieve, they course. must turn him off Anyhow. every time. Mm. Yeah, If they leave him open, let him run, 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 then it loses Not a lot of pressure, you get very little pressure up top here. Mm. Huh? Oh, yeah. So is there a reason you want to run down the road and then in this way, versus, well, just teeing off. versus yeah. coming down oh, here down. and then just coming down? Yeah, the other reason, if you come here, then yeah, you can do it that we way. put it back. I think yeah. that's... Yeah. Probably, Probably better, better because the road, yeah. with the road, with yeah, trucks and yeah. damage, yeah. trucks and water okay. and so forth. Yeah, so we, we, will, we will just run through the uh, main yeah, village yeah. and then we will come I think so. This yeah. would be yeah. we'll the track it back. old 25. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. down this hill yeah. and along yeah, yeah, yeah. here in 25 and, and stop, take it up. Yeah. stop up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stop yeah, up the end. That's the better way. Yeah, I think protect the pipe better that way. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the better way. So this is the kitchen? Yeah. This guy is sit there to make some uh, a small place to sit under the house. Run the pipe from here. Yeah. Run, down, down here. Yeah. And then you can run him down. All the way down. Rather than go down the road because the road, the pipe will get squashed and get damaged oh, because okay. of the road. If that's that better, then we come down a little bit and around and around and just drop down. We've okay, got three points, three points down here. But they were saying, Master, that they wanted to run the 50 mil pipe right from some point here, tee off to four.
Yeah. All right, so we've made it to the end of the 63 mil. Lawrence is just having an asthma attack. Just <laughs> about. Bit of a climb, but a nice view. Just it is out of the view. trees. You can see all the ocean. Caught him the way up. She's <laughs> steep, boy. Gets <laughs> gets a hot going, this one. All right, so we have journeyed all the way up this hill that you can see. Probably one of the steepest climbs I've done for a while. We're almost at the source. We're here. Get your heart beating. Yeah, we've got our heart beating with uh, Adrian and Caleb. <laughs> How's the walk? Yeah, it was a bit of a climb up. We probably climbed, I don't know, over a kilometre. Hey, <laughs> big walk. Yeah. All right, we have made it to the water source for Sakiki Village. Um, they've built this little concrete uh, dam uh, and put the 63 mil poly pipe through it. That's just running open. Uh, once that's capped off um, or connected onto all the other pipes, uh, it'll fill the dam right up to the top. Um, so it'll give them a little reservoir to suck out of. Uh, I've just been told that we're about to get wet, so we need to head back down. We're not going to head back down the same way that we come up because it's quite a rugged trail. We're going to follow the little creek that this dam's built off all the way back down and then walk back up the road to Sakiki. The rain is on its way. Rain's coming. What? Rain, it's coming. Alright, so we were just up there. There was a fair bit of a hike up there. And it's starting to rain. Alright, so these are our showers. Um, and they also have a tap at the halfway point. Um, and then you've got your ball valve. Uh, for the shower, and they'll just go on the ground, um, connected to these PVC pipes. Pump, 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 go, go, go. These are local kids helping us roll out some time. And, um, yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Alright, so we have just laid the rest of the stand pipes out. Um, and that'll probably do for tonight. We will uh, run all the pipe uh, around to them in the morning and hopefully should have it all connected up by lunchtime. And then we'll move on to the next one. This is our dinner tonight. Have some of this and get some sleep, eh, boys? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Pastor Adrian. Morning. How are all these boys been going? Working hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What have we got here? This is 
is a 50 meters pipe from one era. This is a local this morning. Not only flavor, yeah, this is a local flavor. Away is go. Two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Come on, louder. One, two, three. <laughs> Connecting all the 25 mil up to the stand pipe, so I've headed up with uh, Jerry and Ivan back to the dam um, up the creek bed that we went down yesterday. Um, so we'll start connecting them up from the dam, the 63 mil pipe, uh, and head all the way down the hill and then meet them at the bottom where we'll connect the 40 mil. Uh, so it'll go 63 to 50 to 40, um, and then we'll connect the 40 to the 25 mil and then we should have water uh, in the village. Just put in a ball valve in so they can turn it off if they have any leaks. gate valve all in. The boys have just finished off the dam drain. So we'll make our way back down, connecting all the pipes together. We may run into issues because that's the dam up there. And where I am looks to be a bit higher.
Just a bit of vine as rope. Yep. Right, so the water source um, is lower than that first little saddle. Uh, so we might have to, they've got two options. They've got to run the pipe down a bit lower. Um, otherwise they've got to try and chop about a metre and a half or maybe even more, two metres out of that uh, little saddle. All right, so we've worked out that we've got water just on that side um, of the saddle. So we're gonna make it run around the tree. So we're gonna chop the pipe here, move it around the tree, and then hopefully that should uh, make the dam higher than uh, the rest of the pipes. And the water should gravity feed all the way down to the bottom. Right, so we had a couple of airlocks in the system that we've now got out. And we've got lovely pressure. Alright, uh, so we've headed down to the creek, uh, just had some lunch, so we're going to cool off a bit before we go back and finish um, the water install. Just got to connect a couple of fittings up and we'll have water. Alright, we're just walking up to uh, connect the last of the pipes and then we are done. You got a bow or somewhere? Yeah, this one. Sure. Okay, the end of it. <laughs> Finally, we got there. What do you reckon? Turn him on. Turn him on. <laughs> well, it's all done, ready to go. Oh buddy, finally. This has been a good job. Seeing as it wasn't one we couldn't scope, we had to do this using Google Earth. 
and these guys work like absolute Trojans, including Brock, who spent half his life up at the uh, water source today, which is uh, on all fours to get there, by the way. But finally got it done, and everyone's going to be absolutely over the moon. Job done. Yeah? Come, come. Yeah? Ready? Go for sure. So we need to put just a little bit of sand under, then a bit of sand on top, and then you can start putting smaller stones, and then the bigger stones in last. So the sand in the pipe. Sand yeah. around the pipe, yep. Sand in the pipe. The pipe. Yeah, yeah. What does this mean, having water? Uh, what? What does, it, what does it mean to the community having water now? Uh, water, you know, water is life, yeah. So it's a blessing for the community to have water supply. Yeah. To um, help with sanitation. Yeah, sanitation. Yeah. Yeah. And with the great uh, big program that is coming ahead. Yeah. Uh, the church dedication, so we really need the water. Yeah. Yeah. To do the sanitation and. Uh, yeah. Very good. Alright, well that's the end of our install at Sakiki. Uh, we'll probably leave part one of our Solomon mission trip there. Um, so if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel to support uh, what we're doing. Uh, and we'll see you on part two when we uh, do... We've probably got another five installs to do after that. And we've got a couple of clinics to do. So we're looking, really looking forward to it. Uh, so we hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.